Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sony. If you're new, hi. If you're welcome, if you're not new, welcome back, fam. I know I've been gone for a minute, but your girl's been busy with my help and getting ready for a lot of things. So you're probably like, Sonia, what have you been doing for your VSG? So literally, guys, the reason why it's so hard for me to update you guys on is because one, f like we're going to go on food category. Food category, what I've been eating has mainly been sticking to seafood. So I eat shrimps, um, shrimp salmon that's it and then if i'm going to like do a lunch meat i'll do cajun turkey that's it from the deli that's all and i'll typically get a half a pound and that'll last me like roughly almost two weeks kind of around around that time frame um also i've been doing a lot of oh my gosh and I've been doing intermediate fasting too. You're probably like saying you don't need to be doing that because you're only now four months out. I cannot believe this is my four month update video for you guys. I cannot believe it. Like what? Time's going by fast. Um, yeah, so it's like literally like I've been doing that Cajun turkey, pepper jack cheese. I stick on my Greek yogurt. Um, I get the Okies one that has 15 grams of protein in it. I do that. I only eat one thing of that. And then also I drink a third, like 30 ounces of um, Fair Life milk, basically, which gives me 30 something grams of protein in it. And well, I'm not drinking my water because I get the big bottles of Smart Water, Smart Bottle Water. And I literally... It's the 50 ounces, not the 30 ones. I get that, and oh my gosh, I am drinking that throughout the whole day. And while I'm tired of drinking that, I get this little thing right here. As you can see, I'm drinking it right now. And I drink this, drink, drink, drink. And I drink between that, my waters, I hit almost my fluid ounces. So I still really haven't hit any of my goals that my dietitian has set for me, nor my doctor. <laughs> Um, but I've lost, so, I don't know, should I tell y'all now, or wait till the end? I'm gonna wait till the end. Um, and I've been taking my probiotics, like, literally, this is almost gone. And I've been taking multivitamins, I've been on my vitamin D, taking that, and I get a B12 shot, too. So, if you get surgery, dedicate yourself, paying $25 and get you a b12 shot okay and when i get out the gym because typically i stay in the gym for two hours yes amazing workout i get one of my bariatric fusion protein bars yes i do and i eat only a fourth of it because what put getting to a fourth is pushing it I'd be like, okay, two more bites, just two more bites, chew it. I'm like, I don't want any more. All right. Or I eat my Go Go Squeeze applesauce. I still eat that. Yes, that's one of my snacks. Um, for another snack, I eat like pineapples. Or oh my, I had cantaloupe for the first time, guys. Cantaloupe since my surgery. Oh my gosh. We are friends friends besides i still cannot eat watermelon watermelon and me are not in with each other oh and i had a banana banana okay i went to work saturday i ate a banana guys i didn't eat anything else that was my breakfast okay i felt like i ate a thanksgiving meal i was like i'll be right there like I just felt so gross like I was ready to take a nap and everything yes yes when I say honey I was just I'm like fixing my outfit on camera with y'all my bad um I felt like what the heck um what have I noticed since VSG I've noticed 
my clothes okay so now that I am I can't tell you guys yet but I've noticed that I went from being in like I can go in a 2x a large um a 2x 1x and a large could go in there now I just fluctuate between a 1x and a large or a 16 or 14 and I stay like that and Oh my gosh, it's like, what the heck? My shirts, I can fit in a medium or a large. And I'd be so good. I've noticed that like, um, my skin on my arms are starting to sag a little bit more. So when I'm in the gym, I'm making sure I tone up my arms. I'm toning up my legs. So I do heavy duty workout. I do cardio for 78 minutes. I know you're going to be like, wait. You do cardio for that long? Yes. And the rest of it is all muscle building, like toning and tightening up everything. So I won't have as much loose skin when it gets time for me to get rid of it. Um, also, guys, one thing you'll love is once I get back from the gym and I take my shower... I'm out like a light, like a light, like I am out. When I say I'm out, I'm like, do not bother me. Do not eat my food. Oh, and let me tell you, you will be like, do not touch my food. You will be like that. You feel like you might not because I used to somewhat share. I feel like I was a sharing person, but my family keeps telling me I really wasn't. But whatever. I, guys... I get real, I'm sensitive about my food. Like, my mom, she looked at, she ate my um last yogurt, right? And I'm like, did you eat my last yogurt? Did you just eat my, she's like, yeah, do you want me to go, let me go out to the store. I'm like, you can't go out to the store because the store is closed. The store is closed. Where I get my yogurt from, the store is closed. Ingles is closed. Okay, I like to go to Ingles to get my deli meat, my pepper jack cheese, my milk, all basically all my stuff and my groceries that I all the na things I told you I spent around like thirty six dollars in groceries and it'd be lasting me for a good minute and I literally am like okay I got this got this because I get so full fast I get so full now I've noticed when I get my feelings and I get irritated oh I'm like I have to go to the gym I have to go somewhere because whew. Yeah, guys, y'all really should get this. That's good. Anyway, it makes me think of that I'm drinking, like, um, Fruity Pebbles. If y'all know what cereal I'm talking about, comment below. That used to be my, sh that used to be my shit. That I would, that stuff up. I would eat, like, bowl in the morning bowl in the afternoon and i would eat whatever i wanted for dinner and come back and eat that and i'll be like i'm full and i would know i'm full and i would still eat it oh my gosh yes reasons why i got this big so if you're wondering what my highest weight was highest weight was 276 pounds yes um, surgery weight was 200 and yeah, 76 pounds stay there. Um, so, so far I've lost a total of, I want to say like 50 or something more than that pounds. I really don't know. No, I probably lost, I lost more than that because I'm now 220 something. So I lost more than that. And it's really because I'm in the gym five days, five times out of the week, two hours, sometimes one hour and 30 minutes. If we're going to be technical, how long I'm in the gym, we're going to be technical. Sometimes it's one hour and 30 minutes. Okay. Um, also I make sure I restrict myself. So when I get my lunch meat, I only literally I have a measuring cup and I have a food scale. Okay. I'm that bitch. I'm sorry. Y'all gonna hate me. I'm that one. I'm like, okay, we're gonna measure out this. And I literally will put my food, literally, 
I got the Miracle Noodles, which have zero carbs, zero calories. It's good. It's shiitake root. I don't know. It is, but it's good. And it takes on whatever flavor you pair it with. So, like, when I made seafood stir fry, yes, I did. I made a seafood stir fry. Oh, it tasted just like seafood. Like, you taste the shrimps, you taste the salmon, you're tasting all. Oh, yes, I did. I mixed that all. And I only gave myself one fourth of it because I knew I wasn't going to eat any more of that. And I eat off of a saucer. And if I don't eat in a saucer, I have like a little tiny bowl that's like this big that I eat off of. Maybe even smaller. Like, yeah, that big. And why am I holding my fingers like that? Like this big. Here we go. <laughs> and I eat off of that and I'm like... Okay, and really when I say I eat off of that, I take like three bites. Let me be so honest with y'all. I take three bites out of my food and I don't want it anymore. I do not. Oh, another thing is do not go. If you go out to eat, go with somebody that you know is going to let you order the food. Or you like what they like and you, they know that you're on a calorie deficit. Like my friend, she knows when we go out to eat, she's like, all right, so you pick out what you want. And we'll split the food and i'll eat like we went out and got mexican food i ate the chicken and some of the bell peppers and tomatoes that was it and when i say i ate the chicken i ate three strips because it was fajitas three strips and one bell pepper strip and one tomato strip and i was done i was like <sighs> like you done yet because i'm done are you done yet she's like i'm not going out to eat with you again <laughs> she's just like every time every time we go out because i'm like that i am that person i do and i be like jenny you taking it home she'd be like yeah because i know you're not going to take it home and i'm not because i still have um mexican i got fajitas the other time other night and literally i only went back for like the chicken and that was it I do not cook baked chicken myself because I have to, I don't know. It just tastes like metallic to me. So I'm very finicky when it comes to chicken because it has like a weird metallic taste. Um, I also will only drink smart, smart water because the rest of the bottled waters taste weird to me. I still do not drink out of straw, even though technically I'm still, I'm now allowed to drink out of straw. I don't drink out one because i'm like oh my stomach put gas in it oh my goodness no 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 <laughs> we not doing it we not we not doing it okay okay so i be like i won't do that um i i still don't eat bread i do not eat rice i had rice once and i spit that right back out it was no i'm like mm -mm, i don't need it um really i feel like if you just get them honestly i just like the miracle noodles i have them in my refrigerator right now oh and i eat salads yeah you're rolling up a salad i will put my cajun turkey on my salad and i'll be like with some vinegar what you gonna do yes and it's not even like a big salad it's a small little salad like that a baby could eat and a baby probably would be like I'm full. And you're going to be like, I ain't, how you full already? That was a tiny salad. Yeah, I know. Um, also, guys, dairy is not your friend. Let me tell you, dairy is not. It's summertime. It's hot as hell. Okay? It's hot in Georgia. It's hot. And I hate being hot. Okay? So, I decided. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot. I told you. I forgot to tell you guys. I made surf um, Alfredo. Homemade Alfredo sauce. That gave me diarrhea. It gives you diarrhea. Le dairy, when well, I was going to tell y'all guys, dairy is not your friend. Dairy is not your friend. Like, it be running through you, and it does not wait till the next day. It literally, you eat a little bit. Like, take a bite. I Yeah, I did take one bite. I took one bite, okay? Took one bite, and next thing I know, my son is going, and I'm like, and my son is going, and I'm like, are we okay? I was like, and I'm like rubbing my stomach. I'm like, I don't feel good. 
oh my gosh i ran straight to that bathroom i was like and it was nothing but liquid and my bowels stayed like that for like a minute but i noticed since i've been eating clean my bowel movements have no odor have no odor my urine does not have any odor to it it's just like and it could be because i eat pineapples almost every day and i also eat a greek yogurt every day and i take a probiotic and i drink a ton of water and i'm consuming a ton of liquids so my body is just constantly flushing and filtering everything out and pushing everything out but you've also noticed you hardly poop i hardly poop at all and i used to poop all the time when i said oh my god i could every day i could every day and now i can't i'd be lucky if i get one in a in a month not in like a month month but like i might get one like once maybe every two weeks or three weeks three weeks is more so the answer being honest um i also because of having the surgery my skin has gotten even more sensitive if yours has raise your hand comment below and put a hand emoji like bruh i have to use these um kiddo wipes down here and oh my gosh best decision ever like thank you next like literally i'm just like okay like okay okay we good we good um i've switched laundry detergents because my skin became more irritated there's so much oh and i still take a marilax if you want to know i do for the fiber um what i do i still take that protein powder um no i don't because i want a protein powder now i am looking at this one protein powder and it is soy free whey free so it is a lot more better for this girl's body yes and i read everything oh my gosh read everything on the back read the back of every label and i do not eat oatmeal i stay away from a ton of stuff i'm gonna be honest guys like you be i'm gonna do a what i eat in a day and y'all gonna see y'all gonna see so y'all can just see what i eat in the day and y'all gonna be like what is wrong with you and i'm gonna be like this is gonna be your life too i got you boo i got you i got you okay okay but um also guys you have to make sure emotionally i go through an emotional roller coaster every day i wake up sometimes sad i still hate looking at my body completely like when i look at myself in the mirror like my scars are healing they've healed so amazing i forget that i have them um i still do not sleep on my stomach it kind of hurts to sleep on my stomach and i don't know why but it kind of does um also guys what blows my mind is how much i i forget to eat so i've learned to thank god for intermediate fasting because since i've been doing that oh my gosh I stopped eating at really 9 o'clock. I stopped eating. I don't eat until like 11.30, 11 o'clock. So those are, yeah, that's a good time. And on top of that, when I eat, like during that um, time, I'm drinking nothing but water. Water. I don't even drink this because this has sugar in it. So I kind of keep myself on a low carb slash kind of like a keto um, diet kind of, but still trying to figure out herself too. So yeah, why is my videos always so long guys? Anyway, I weigh, I already told you guys how much I weigh. Um, you'll notice like the, I've noticed like my hands have kind of like this thickness or whatever has went down um i really have i noticed anything about my body just drastically no no 
but everybody else's like when I see friends other people they're like oh my gosh you lost a lot of weight and I'm like okay thank you and I'm still working on that with my therapist on how to take compliments how to I'm better at giving you compliments I'm like okay hey love look at you looking all cute today like what you doing like what's what's going on with you you got a date what's going on like tell me i got you boo i got you if you don't got a date you need to go on one that's how cute you looking like come on come on like guys i just be like a guy can look at me and be like you beautiful i'd be like nigga get out my face i don't want to talk to you i don't want to talk to you and that's how I be feeling. Like, I really be feeling like guys, when guys try to say hi to me, I'm like, like, this guy at Food Lane, he had his girlfriend there, but his, like, still tried to look at me, and I'm like, nigga, why are you looking at me? Like, can I help you? I'm like, get out my face. Get out my face. Like, you got a whole girlfriend right here get out my face and i'd be like that with everybody though you can be single and still be trying to get with me and i'd be like get out my face by two inches and not even really two inches because if i can go like this and my water can touch you you still too close if i feel your hot breath and you only a mile away you still too close you need to get up i'm like that oh i'm very irritable i get irritated very quickly i've been working yeah get you a therapist and i literally can honestly say alanta bariatric has they're amazing my doctor has me on for methazine for my nausea because i still have bad nausea with food and i'm just like mm -hmm. <laughs> why i do not eat out like that um really at all and the only time i go out to eat is with my friend and i hardly even see her so that's the only reason why. But throughout the other times, I'm cooking my own food. Half the time I'm eating my deli meat because I'm like, I don't want to cook because I'm not going to eat it. And really, it's like, ugh, having, this injury has been so far a blessing in disguise. Like, it's a whole blessing because literally I'm just like learning more about myself. It gives, this is a nice journey to learn about you. What makes you happy? Who makes you happy? Who you want to keep around? Reevaluate re your life. Okay, that's really what the surgery does. It makes you reevaluate re your whole life. What you've been up on your whole entire life and what you need to improve on and stop up on and to get you together. Okay? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I love you guys. And remember that you are kings and queens and never let anybody put you down. If they're not happy, they're going to try to put you down because you know what? They're not happy with what's going on in their lives. Okay? Don't let them, don't let them try to fool you. Don't let them try to bamboozle you. You a queen and you a king. And you may see my crown slip, but you will never see my crown fall. Never. Not even on a rainy day. My crown's not going to slip. No. Nah. No. Nah. And stay tuned because tomorrow, um, which, yeah. Tomorrow, I will be uploading the sauna vest suit. My last review on the Nicolette Shapewear. Well, I need to do two more reviews. And I will let you guys know what I think. But I can already tell you guys, I love the Nicolette Shapewear. It's good. And if you're wondering what lipstick I'm wearing, I'm wearing the Wet n Wild Liquid Lipstick. I don't know why. Guys, I like wearing, like, fall, like, plummy colors. And the... Oh, yeah, and I switched my deodorant. I forgot to tell you guys. I switched my deodorant because... Since I had the surgery, when I said my skin is sensitive, I mean my skin is sensitive. And I went to the one that is aluminum free. Um, what did I go to? This lipstick is Give Me Mocha. I love this. If you're a chocolate girl, you see how this looks like? 
I just want to be like one of them like please what and want like just help me sponsor let's grow our family and if you like this video if you liked it and even if you didn't like it but you know you still watch because I'm funny as hell and I'm cute <laughs> give this video a thumbs up and comment below what you want to see check out my instagram tranquility beauties right now like right now and then have a great day bye i don't know what poster i want this one